This is a video by Rich Pin. Today we are working on a 1956 Volkswagen Beetle. And this is my car. I was out for a ride. Noticed that the uh, brakes seemed to be dragging a little bit. Came back and boy, they were hot. So, stepped on the brake. It was tight. I figured that the shoes just had backed off. I loosened the shoes so it was nice and free. I just went inside, stepped on the brake, and look at it, it's back to being tight. So I figured maybe problem with the master cylinder. We got a collapsed hose. So I got the bleeder underneath there. I relieved the pressure at the wheel cylinder and still didn't free up. See, that should spin really easy. So, I think that we've got bad wheel cylinders. So, I'm going to take that off. Take a look at those wheel cylinders. Alright, we're going to peel back the boot and see what that cup looks like. All right, go ahead, step on it. Easy. Go ahead. I'm pushing. All right. All right, yeah, it looks pretty bad. Okay, release it. Oh, look at it. Ooh. Do I have to push it again? No. No. I saw I was hanging up. I like to see what this cup looks like. Alright, go ahead, step on it. Go ahead. Whoop, okay. Alright, release it. Look at that. See that? You gotta I gotta push it in. Alright, step on the brake. Alright, release it. Alright, do it again, step on it. Okay, okay, stop. Release it, release the brake. Yeah. Yeah, she's gummed up. <clears throat> Could probably take probably take them off and clean them, and, and be okay. Alright, now we know what the problem is. Wheel cylinders. What we're going to see if we can do is take the cups out and clean. Clean them down, maybe the bore a little bit without doing a complete rebuild, and um, see if we can salvage these wheel cylinders because they're very good quality. I believe they were German. All right, I cleaned the cup right here, and. Um, I got in the bore with some scotch bright, and then I blew it out, cleaned it with some alcohol, so there shouldn't be any residue or any debris in there. She's nice and free now. That's that cup. We got the
cups all cleaned. Clean the bores. So now we're going to put it back together and hopefully we will have solved our sticking problem. If not, we'll just replace the wheel cylinders. Yep, just uh, put your cane on the, the brake pedal. On the brake pedal. When you're ready, let me know. Because I ain't pushing it. Alright, push on it. Go ahead. Push on it. I'm pushing. Okay. Alright, keep pushing. Alright, release it. That top one went in real quick. The bottom one, not so much. Hmm. Let's try that again. Here we go. Keep pushing. All right, release it. Back all the way. Back all the way. Well, wasn't doing that before. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll put the drum back on, adjust it, and see if it's normal. See if it's not dragging. And if it isn't, well then we'll tackle the other side, clean it just like this side. And then we'll flush out the whole system, brake fluid, put some new fluid through there, and uh, it should be okay. Maybe next spring, every spring from now on, we'll do a flush. Flush it all out. Alright, both sides are back together. And the shoes are all adjusted. You can see it's free. Now I'll step on the brake. What it was doing after I would step on the brake, the shoes would hit and not retract. But you can see that it's working properly now. That's not to say that we might not have to uh, replace those wheel cylinders, but they're working good now. And I just bled the system flushed all that old fluid out so we got new fluid in there and we're going to uh, go back and double check the rears and make sure that they're okay. They're looking good right now. It's been a couple of months now since I've cleaned those wheel cylinders and everything's been fine. There's been no grabbing, overheating, no leaking, nothing. So um, it was well worth uh, working on it and seeing if I could salvage those wheel cylinders because uh, those German wheel cylinders are pretty expensive. So, all right, that's it. Job's all done. Thanks for watching, guys.